guys, Dine Tech every week. Today I want to show you guys the uh, the OS 10 hack store uh, for Mac OS. Uh, I believe it's for Snow Leopard and um, Mac OS 10 Lion now. And here is what the hack store actually looks like. Uh, if we uh, let's see, it's over here. Actually, it's not loading up right now. Um, they actually just they just pushed out an update to 1.1. It was uh, 1.0, I believe, down here or something like that. I don't know, but they got a new server now and. Um, this is the newest build right here. I'll put the link in the description to the Hackstore webs the Hackstore uh, website. And basically, what Hackstore is, it's kind of like Cydia for Mac. Um, like Cydia, if you guys aren't familiar with jailbreaking, Cydia is uh, the jailbreak application that's installed to your iOS device that allows you to um, install different kinds of system modifications uh, that lets you pretty much use your Apple device to its uh, very most. Um, you can also like theme it and stuff like that. You can use Cydia for uh, the hack store. Um, as of now, it pretty much just has like apps, like developing apps and uh, utilities and stuff that you could use um, for jailbreaking and like SSHing into your device and stuff like that. And some of the stuff you guys might not know what I'm talking about, but uh, if you're a jailbreaker, you'll, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. But currently, I let's see, actually, I think I already finished downloading. Yeah, I did. So you're head over to this website right here and you're going to go ahead and click download right here. Or if you already have it, you can go to here. And um, check for updates over here, but it already recognizes I need have the. It already recognizes I need the update, so I'm gonna go ahead and install it. Um, but yeah, basically it just has like utilities, like jailbreak utilities and develop and stuff. Or not develop. I'm not exactly sure what it all was. I don't remember um, exactly. But once this loads up, I'll show you guys it. All right, guys. Well, um, as you can see, Hackstore over here, it's not loading up. I got the newest version right now, and it's just a gray screen. You guys will probably have that problem also because. Um, there's so many people trying to access the application right now and it's just not going to load up. Uh, that's why I believe they released uh, version 1.1 was to help that problem but it's still not running uh, nicely. Uh, but you can see some, they got some screenshots over here on the website. Um, and you can see it kind of got that layout. It looks almost like the uh, the Mac App Store. Uh, it looks almost the same exact way as you can see here. Um, not exactly the same but almost similar. Um, and you can see they got different categories. They got games and finance and all that stuff. They don't have themes, so you can't really theme like your dock or anything um, as of now. Uh, they got a little update tab here, an about tab, categories, featured tab, and a, uh, a new tab. Uh, and then they got all these sections here. If you want to look through those. When I had installed um, this right here. It flips through. You can see the number of pages. Uh, there's update pages. And you can put like, I believe you can even contact the developer of this. Um, I'm not exactly sure who the developer is. I don't remember. Um, uh, maybe we can find it towards the bottom. Uh, I don't see it, but um, oh, I'm sure I can figure it out right here. But I'm not gonna go into that. Um, but you can contact the developer, and, and you can uh, like buy, and you can like pay him, or I'm not exactly sure how it works, but I think I think you can pay him to uh, advertise your application or whatever um, in this bar here. By this drop down menu here, you can see you can upload an app uh, or an update. Uh, if you have anything in the the hack store, um, and a lot of the stuff you can find online already, like some of the applications. If we look here, um, iMessage beta, you can get that from the Apple website. Tiny umbrella, you can get from Tiny Tiny umbrella website. Um, so some of this stuff you can get uh, right from any website already. But it's nice to have it organized and it's all right in one place. They have, um, like I said before, they have an SSH program that allows you to browse your uh, your iDevices. Uh, root. Uh, it's pretty nice. It's got um, a small amount of content content right now, but I'm sure it'll grow fast. Uh, and it's kind of not too steady right now, but it should uh, it should definitely um, progress fairly quickly here. And here is uh, the, uh, the developer. I never heard of uh, I never heard of him personally, but um, he is the developer of it. And there's more information on the uh, the team that developed this app. Um, that's just a basic overview. Um, and the progress of I mean the process of downloading something from it. Uh, you basically, uh, if we go back over here, actually, picture, you basically, um, oh, where's the pictures here? Okay, right, you can see it in this one. Um, you just click uh, download right here, and it just downloads it straight into your uh, your downloads folder. Like you're downloading something from Safari, it works the same way pretty much. Uh, it's just nice and organized um, so far. I'm not sure what they plan on doing this, if they're going to install tweaks. Like maybe you could get like uh, different animations for your dock and stuff like that. Uh, like when you minimize the screen, it's got like that transition, maybe they'll... Uh, throw in some more um, 
like effects, I guess, or you might, you might already be able to do it with different stuff, but it, it'd be nice to have it all organized in one place. Um, so it's kind of like a Cydia for Mac, but not exactly the same thing. It pretty, it's pretty much like the application part of Cydia for Mac. It's pretty much how it is right now. Uh, but that is it, guys. That is my overview of the Mac OS X hack store. It is available for Snow Leopard and um, Lion right now. I do not know if it's going to be going to Windows or not. Uh, I'm going to assume not because like um, like how Cydia is only for Apple devices, that's how I'm going to assume uh, the hack store will be because it's kind of like the Mac app store. There's my uh, overview of the hack store, guys. If you enjoyed this video, go and like it down below. I appreciate that. It helps my videos out. And um, also, if you want my future videos, go ahead and subscribe at the top and that will notify you. I have more jailbreak updates coming to you guys uh, on the, uh, the 5.1 until their jailbreak for iOS, uh, so I, I'll have um, more updates coming for those, and I'll also be uh, I'll also have a tutorial for 5.1 until their jailbreak when that's out. If you guys want to check out all my current updates um, for 5.1 for the for the 5.1 jailbreak, I'll put a link in the description or an annotation or something for my playlist that I have created for all of my updates. But that is it. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your evening, and I'll see you next video.